killer feature in ChatGPT. AI supercomputers are all the rage right now, and the actual odds of AI wiping out humanity are surprisingly high. We're watching the AI report, lots of exciting stuff today, let's get into it. We have a new, very exciting feature for ChatGPT Plus users. Custom instructions let you set personal preferences for your ChatGPT that will be considered in every prompt. Basically, it's a set of two additional prompts that ChatGPT will always take into account when responding to you. This is so cool. It will save so much time and it effectively raises the token limit and makes the tool very easy to use. I will make a video going into more detail on this you should see a link to it near the top here right about now. The White House summons the seven houses of AI and makes them promise to behave. Amazon, Anthropic, Google, Infliction, Meta, Microsoft and OpenAI have all been called to a meeting. They will comply with the requirements of the White House for safer AI including investments in cybersecurity, reducing discrimination and watermarks for AI generated content. The last one is the most important requirement right now in my opinion, it will play a major role in stopping disinformation and propaganda. Next, one of the weirdest things I've heard lately and I cover AI news so my threshold for weirdness is kinda high, computer chip with built-in brain tissue has demonstrated something similar to sentience and is now getting military funding. The device slash organism mastered the game Pong in just 5 minutes mostly thanks to the reward circuitry that's built into brain cells. The project got funding for further research and it may be used in artificial intelligence. So basically we're gonna have humanoid robots or robotic humanoids, probably in about a decade. Moving on, disentangled control for referring human dance generation in the real world, which somehow amounts to the acronym DISCO, can generate a video of a person dancing using just one photo of that person. Oh no, does that mean I won't be able to trust TikTok creators? That requires me to update my worldview significantly. That's sarcasm by the way. I'm gonna go full boomer now and just say, who cares? AI generated videos of dances? You could be building super weapons or figuring out new DNA for super soldiers or creating new unstoppable diseases or working on diabolical supercomputers and you're working on dances? Speaking of diabolical supercomputer, Elon will invest $1 billion into Dojo AI, the supercomputer that will power the AI required for self-driving. Yeah, this sounds like Elon, he usually wants to own the entire supply chain and not depend on anyone else, which always requires more work but it usually pays off, especially for a guy that can execute like him. That said, this time it seems like he would rather collaborate with Nvidia when it comes to AI chips but they're already overbooked. And while we're speaking about diabolical supercomputers, Cerebras is a Silicon Valley startup that makes huge AI chips with hundreds of times more computing power. Welcome to the AI chip war, Cerebras, but know that it's already very crowded here, so good luck to you. Maybe you can talk to Elon, I've heard he needs AI chips. Next, one of the possibly most disturbing AI ideas I've heard Researchers from the Ben Gurion University in Israel develop an AI system that can detect social norm violations. This is a great product for those who hate humor and learning about the customs and cultures of others through trial and error, or as we used to call it, dialogue. Guys, chill. Most people today realize that there will be cultural differences whenever you talk to someone from a different background. It's not that bad. There's simply not a lot of upside here. The downside, on the other hand, seems bottomless. I can immediately think of a few girls with gray hair who would put this tool to great use and cancel half the planet, and a certain dictatorial regime in Asia would also love this technology to further censor and oppress the population. Ok, let's move on. These are some of the most interesting stats on AI. My personal favorites, AI annual revenue will grow by 37% each year for the next 7 years, I believe we covered this in a previous episode. 91% of leading organizations are investing in AI activities, 97% of business owners believe that ChatGPT will have a positive effect on their business, AI technology could add more than 15 trillion dollars to the global economy, 
and about 2% of all jobs in the UA require some AI related skill and that number is expected to grow. And finally, while we're talking numbers, the betting markets estimate that currently there's about a 17% chance that AI will wipe out humanity by 2030. This is a surefire way to make some money. Just bet that AI won't wipe out humanity and wait until 2030. And if you lose, well, you have much bigger problems than losing this bet. Life is about always finding win-wins and that's the way it is. That was the AI report. Once again, go check out the guide on the new ChatGPT feature. It's really cool. Like and subscribe, do your thing and I will see you tomorrow.